Hi everyone. Okay, so this is going to be mixed medium morsel number 29. And we're going to do some sponge painting. This is just your basic, plain, ordinary, cheap kitchen sponges. And I've already taken this one and just cut a couple of basic little shapes. Um, to make the circle, I just did a square a little bit smaller than this one. And then I kind of just uh, squeezed it and trimmed around. Basically, I cut the corners off and then I kind of trimmed the edges where it was still a little straight. But And it's not a perfect cir circle either, which is fine with me. I like that um, imperfect uh, shape anyway. So, um, so anyway, I just cut a few and um, I thought I would just um, use uh, a couple of colors here. I've got three colors here that I like. I'm going to just use these and um, just stamp a pattern. I think I'm going to use this small square and just make like a grid, a checkerboard kind of grid. I know almost three will fit across of this size. Let's see, one, two, three, eh, almost four. So I think that'll work out just fine. And uh, so I'm going to... I'm going to just take the um, the paint here, <clears throat> excuse me, here, and um, put it down on the craft mat and then spread it out uh, a little bit so I can dip into it. But um, I really like the, um, the pattern, you know, that a sponge leaves um, because it's um, got holes in it. <laughs> so um, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. And... Um, a cool one to have in our little morsels uh, collection. All right, so I'm gonna just drag this out a little like this. I have to probably work relatively quickly because this will dry being spread out like it is. paper for the excess here. Okay. So I'm going to just kind of roughly um, get a little pattern going. I don't know if it's going to work for sure or not, but I'm just going to press it in. Oops. And pull it off. Okay, I'm gonna need more paint, I can tell. Because the, uh, the sponge will absorb it, of course. All right, so I'm gonna do the next one about there, about there. And I guess we're back to the beginning again. Okay. All right, I'm going to stamp off the excess because I'm going to reuse the same sponge, um, of course, for the other colors. Okay. I think that's pretty good because you don't really press that hard when you're doing this, so I think we'll be okay with that little bit that might remain there. Isn't that so fun? <laughs> I love it. Let me show you the close-up. I just love the um, the patterning. So awesome. So this is a very quick um, morsel today, but know that you can cut any shapes. You can cut hearts, uh, flower shapes, triangles. I mean, you can cut anything you want and you can make patterns and designs um, like crazy. This was just to give you an example of uh, a simple way to do it and get a really cute background.
So there you go, guys. This way, you're using the sponge as your focal to make to create your focal point. Where in this one, I used the sponge to create the background. So, um, and this page is, this is just one of those uh, pages from my address book that I'm altering. Um, I had rolled off a brayer onto this page and um, it, with a couple of colors. I think there was a blue color up there. Yeah, it was a blue color and a green color. So, um, it's just a fun and quick, simple way to, um, to create a really cool um, focal point and then you can put words on it or you know whatever you want I mean it's just the sky's the limit I'm gonna finish up uh, this page here real quick and show you what I decided to do with it I got of course a cup of coffee <laughs> it was time for another coffee image I gave it a couple of weeks <laughs> okay so we're going to put this here, and I'm going to use a glue stick for that. Right, so we got that, and uh, I'm gonna put uh, words. Uh, all my things are from a magazine or magazines. I'm gonna have a, a a heart here, and the words that say "treasure the little things." kind of border do we want I'll just do a simple one I'm just adding some squares, some little tiny squares to the line <clears throat> around uh, the border.
I'm going to put a, a coat of collage page on top just to seal all that in. And then I will outline it, everything. Okay, I'm going to outline uh, these three items. And just about call it done, I think. dot I think inside of each box in white just to brighten it up there you go so that is a fun little background you guys using a kitchen sponge. <laughs> I love it. All right, guys, I'm looking forward to seeing yours, backgrounds or focal point, uh, focal images, whatever uh, you'd like to do. I'm anxious to see how they turn out. And I hope you have fun with it. That's the most important thing, just having fun with it. And um, thanks so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye, everybody.